Hello everyone. Today's video is a special one. It's about where to spend your diamond. I'm going to be talking about where to spend your diamond if you just want to spend $20, you know, you want to stay with a little bit of diamond, if you want to spend hundreds of dollars, and if you want to really just whale it out. All right. So, where do you spend your diamond? And when I when I'm when I make this video, it doesn't mean just like where you can spend your diamond. It's obviously gonna be like where I feel it will have the most impact and it will last you the longest while giving you the greatest um, CP increase that you can possibly get. So the first place that I wanna go into is obviously gonna be the mall. Because you're gonna be tempted by this as soon as you get into the game. So with this daily pack, you're going to have an option to spend gold. You're going to have an option to spend diamond as well. So what I want you to do is to just buy one thing, one thing on here. And it's just the violet gaze. Well, not the violet gaze, uh, tank techniques that you'll get from this daily. The reason why is if you are a big spender, these techniques are obviously, you know, giving you crazy stat boost, but obviously you're going to need to buy more than one. You're going to need probably like 10 for each um, each tank technique, and you do kind of have to wait. So that is a downside. But if you do have the money, definitely do it. If you don't have the money, only go for like anything that gives you aura shards or um, maybe this some sometimes for honor. And only buy that once once or twice you don't want to go too crazy on any of that all the other ones like gold and all that other stuff just buy it once um if if you are gonna spend it it's nothing i would recommend too highly if anything it would just be like one of like an aura shard and then call it a day and then maybe buy this for gold so you can get that daily boost um but anything other than that probably not um when you start the game if you're a new new player, when you start the game, there's going to be a whole bunch of mounts all over you. Um, just, you know, screaming by me. So definitely want to get those mounts. Those mounts are definitely useful for, for um, while you're playing. Also, if you don't have a lot of money, like you just have a couple, maybe 2,000, 3,000 diamond, don't buy any of all that and just buy like three soul bones because you can increase your CP as high as possible while um also being um you can get lucky enough to get these red ones which will greatly greatly increase your cb and that's only if you don't have um that much diamond then don't buy those other stuff if you do have a lot of diamond then definitely go buy those other stuff and also invest in some uh soul bone chests because these soul bone chests give you crazy stat bonuses that will affect your um not only your cp but also how good you are in certain fights and health regen all those kind of stuff so definitely go and invest in some soul bones um so now another wait just just real quick <laughs> also watch my build videos so you don't have to go waste four to five um you know war soul switch cards diamond on war soul switch cards like i have <laughs> so definitely go watch my video so you don't make the same mistake i have um with all of this you can buy them if you do have a crazy amount of um of diamond you can go buy mount spars and tungsten and hail Connor order if you have a crazy amount but if you don't don't bother with it just maybe maybe these so you can go to geyser and get your, get lucky maybe do that a couple times a day maybe twice a day um and by the way let me just show you what i mean so if i were to go to geyser and i needed five per se i would go to obtain go to mall and then it'll show me this and they don't cost much but the drop rate is pretty bad so i don't know if you want to invest in that if you do definitely go for it um, there's, you're, it's possible to get these in training, so you could just wait for training. If not, then just leave it alone. Um, so the next thing that you want to do is watch my XP guide video, because if you're in the beginning of the game, you'll be wanting to know where to spend your diamond. And I talked about it there for, um, how to get your experience higher, because there is a newbie event, as you know, or if, you, if you're new to the game, you will know. It's the first event that you get 
and they're really good rewards so you definitely want to go check the xp guide video make sure you're spending your diamond properly there that's all there for the xp okay so this is a big one a lot of people end up wasting a crazy amount of diamond in this event i made the same mistake that's why i can talk about it so well i wouldn't say mistake it's more of it's kind of like a gamble because everyone's trying to go for this or these a lot of these can help as well but if you're not a big spender it's definitely not the way to go if you only have a couple thousand definitely don't go and spend half of your diamonds here because this is more for the very very big spenders or if someone's just trying to get lucky to be honest so definitely don't go and waste all of your diamond here because there's so much better places to spend your diamond for example the spiritus if you go to the spiritus you go to spiritus tower you'll have a regular where you can get from the daily and then you have a an advanced where you have to buy so if you go to the advanced every day i recommend buying this once and then three of these so this price is way more um this price is really really reduced at a really good price so definitely go and buy those the reason why is because you want to go for those um guaranteed red drops and you can get lucky in between but you know you probably will only get like one in between um every guaranteed uh red drop or maybe two and the red drops are really really impactful like i'm gonna show you real quick what kind of stats my red drops give me so as you can see 350,000 hp and the attack is up aim block rate all that good stuff and here you have another one that's pretty crazy and i'm gonna just compare it to one of my uh black ones you see that's like you know half <laughs> and yeah it's enhanced a lot more than the, the other ones but you gotta also remember this is advanced so it's showing you higher stats than you would normally see all right so um I have another one here show you the stats on that so yeah these are these are pretty pretty big deal um and then as you go and spend those you'll be able to unlock more um slots which will greatly boost your cp as well so definitely want to invest in that if you're a big spender or if if you're not a big spender then definitely just grab yourself one guaranteed spiritus red spiritus and then you'll be all set there now after the newbie event then this anniversary event comes out and then you'll have an option of buying all of these packs i definitely recommend if you're not a big spender to go for the pink gears pink gears as you know gives you really good um stat bonuses and skill effects right so i would definitely use that and these go really well with my imperium mace build because they help out with the health regen so definitely a must there okay so now with all that we have um showdown if you have showdown oh actually conquest uh excuse me so if you have conquest when you win you go to conquest shop and you'll have an option of buying a whole bunch of things definitely go and buy all the aura shard packs you can um these are useful as well if you um already reached the point where you can upgrade your weapons those help out with that um the red chest gears gear chests sorry um definitely don't want to get those those are like you're probably already gonna get a whole bunch of those already have them lucky packs for sure those runes are very helpful uh, enhanced stones, set stone, all this stuff. Just try to get it as fast as you can. Um, so yeah, that's that's very um, very helpful. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that I haven't missed anything. I think I've I think I've reached everything. Arena, yeah, you can go and buy these um, these challenge attempts because you know you do get a decent amount of honor from this if you have a lot of diamond i recommend it but if you don't it's not that serious it's really not that serious if you want to go for like like the number one spot then yeah but it's it's not that serious really I promise it's not um so i wanted to show you guys 
something real fast. So let me see. So yeah, hunt. Um, people, I I know people don't really buy these. I don't buy them a lot anymore because you know I, I haven't been putting in money in the game anymore for for a little bit. But if I I definitely recommend them if you have anything under three stars definitely buy like five of these because these you know they give you the auras and if you're not boosting your auras eventually you can get beat down pretty badly just simply for that because someone else has um more more higher auras um for example like right now um the number one guy is 24 mil i'm only 21 but he's still having trouble defeating me just because of that um and i'll show you in the system one second i don't oh yeah for poseidon i don't really buy another one of these but if you want to that's a, that's something else you can do i don't i don't recommend it because it's just i don't know i just feel like it's not as impactful as um slaughterhouse if you watch my xp guide videos and all that stuff i don't really feel like it does the same effect so right so i'm showing the system message for our duels probably won't be able to find them oh duel sorry uh so here you see down at the bottom you have defeated royal in a duel challenger cp 24 mil so definitely definitely listen to what i said definitely buy the things that, that i said you need um if you want to be able to beat someone you know see millions of cp higher than you like i have definitely go and watch and he also has a pvp bonus 25 percent. so you, you definitely want to go watch my videos and try to mimic um some of the builds that i have also i have switched around my builds i've been using two tanks lately i haven't made a video on the bear yet because i still want to play with it a little still want to see if there's anything i'm missing because as you know i do like giving you guys the best possible content i can um and then the kitten video it's on its way it's probably going to be the next one i just wanted to make this because it was a video that people were asking for a lot so just wait on it it's coming it might not be it might not be your traditional kitten i'll probably give you um another example of that just probably won't be what i have there's a reason why my kitten's the way it is but overall that's every i i would say that's the best places to spend your night in obviously if you are a whale and you want to just go all out just go buy everything but if you want to know the most effective while not just throwing your diamond out there and still having diamond to save then definitely look at the things i recommended and buy those things um there might be one or two events that i've missed um i just can't remember the name right now but definitely want to go for any kind of event that you see has a really high outcome um so yeah and for the pirate packs just to talk about them because there is it is something you have to buy for pirate packs i would only recommend black weapons unless you don't have any accessories then buy accessories but if you don't have anything if you want to buy something for sure definitely go for all the black weapons you see definitely go for anything any food that gives you like a, a percent bonus a really good percent bonus don't just go buying everything because at some point you like you're gonna notice that those things are easy to get one or they're just not needed and talking about buying things if you go to discount packs i highly recommend buying these every day if you buy these every day you're gonna be seeing yourself get stronger than a lot of people around you just because it gives you the necessary things this is probably the most necessary pack a really good pack um than all the others because it gives you shards it gives you honor it gives you xp um xp pots and it also gives you a try at um uh light lyceum trial i think that's what it's called oh treasure something like that <laughs> yeah treasure lyceum so <laughs> definitely want to go and uh 
buy those packs if you do have the money if you don't then it's fine then just look into the, the other things i've said but yeah that's everything i do have i did hit <laughs> 21 mil so I, I will be making another um video me challenging uh cross server so definitely stay tuned for that um thank you for watching subscribe like the video it helps me out a lot i appreciate all the support i've been getting and that's everything bye